Now I've got YouTube open here and I went to my Press to Trainer YouTube channel and I just chose a video off that channel. So I'm going to pick this one center logo on the home page of your Presta Shop store, part one. So let's scroll down. Now below all videos, and it doesn't matter what video it is, you can pick any one on YouTube at random and you'd see the same stuff. There's a little area here that you'll find this share button. And that's what you're looking for. So click on the share button and then it opens up this little window. So you might be tempted to take this link right here and just insert that in your HTML. Well, I can tell you that that just doesn't work. All you're going to see is the link itself. It won't actually insert the player. So don't waste your time. Don't do that. It won't work in this particular application. It may work in other applications, but not here. So what we want to do is go to the embed button. And what it does is it opens up a little code window. And it's a small iframe code that gives us a player uh, that is 560 pixels wide by 315 tall. Now, we already know that we need 534 pixels wide because that's what Firebug told us. So how do you get the right size player with the code? Well, you can see down here there's some options. Right now it's using this preset. Here's another preset. If I click it, it changes. If I click this preset, it changes again. You know, you can even do a 1280 by 720. But that's not what we want. We want something that's 534 pixels. So let's do it by using the custom box here. And just go ahead and type in 534. And you can see that it keeps the same ratio. And it seems to want to round it down to 533, which is fine. So that does that for us automatically and then it updates the code. So all I'm going to do is click in here, it highlights everything, I'm going to right click and then we'll do copy. Okay now that we've copied our code it gets really easy from here. So let's just go back to the back office and we're on our iPod Nano. Let's scroll down to the description. So in the description box I'm just going to click ahead of everything and then I'm going to click on the edit HTML source. So it brings it up, and you can see my cursor is why I left it. So I'm just going to click Control V. That's a keyboard shortcut, and then I'm hit Enter once. So this is the code that we copied and now pasted: 533 by 300. So you'll need to update that. Scroll down a little bit so you can see the Update button, and now you'll need to save it. Now I'm going to save and stay in case I want to change it again. Okay, that's saved. Let's go to the front office. So the video player should pop up here. I'm going to go ahead and reload the page. And there's our video. Now we've got this video that actually looks pretty good. It looks like it fits just right. And it fits uh, within the actual text. And if we click play. Hi everybody and welcome to another training video from PrestaTraining.com. There it plays our video. Now I'm using a Windows 7 machine for this example and I've also tested this on Windows XP and it seems to appear differently. I can't really explain why. I don't know why Windows XP and this version of Firefox don't look the same as it does on my other computer, but you might see some differences depending on your browser and depending on uh, whether you're using XP or Windows 7. So watch what happens. I'm just going to double click on this and I guess what I'm trying to eliminate are these black borders here because this isn't really as big as it should be. So if I double click on this, you see how it got bigger? I don't know why that does that, but it did. And this it works just fine. You how to center a logo on the home page of your press. Okay. Now I didn't have to put that video there. I could have put text before it and then a video and text after it or I could put the video after the text completely. It's all dependent on where you put it in the description. So let's say for instance that I really want to get this box bigger, but it's not giving my, my little drag triangle. I think it depends on the browser or possibly even your version. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this, or cut it actually. So I will cut that out. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. It's a Mozilla issue. So I'll have to do that differently. I can use my keyboard shortcut. So what I'm using is Control X to cut. And I'm going to delete that space there. And I'm going to go to the very top and be sure 
that I'm at the very top and left, and then I'm going to paste. Now, unfortunately, in this browser, you can't see that video player very well. You can kind of see the little outline of it, but it's not that easy to see. So I'm going to add a space here and see if that does it. So I'm going to click Save and Stay, and then go back, and let's reload this page again. Now, we should have some text up above the video player this time. There we go, that's exactly what I wanted. As you can see, you've got a lot of flexibility on how you place that code, and you can do a lot of neat things. You could have four videos or one video, uh, and this isn't the only place that you can place videos. In fact, let's just go back to the home page. What we did here, you can do in the home text editor as well. So here we are on the home page, and this top area up here is the home text editor. So where you see this lorem ipsum that comes with the default PrestaShop installation, you can put a video player in here as well. Now you might need a little wider video player because it looks like this is slightly wider than what that space was on the product page, but it's the same concept. You just figure out through Firebug how wide your space is, and then you would get a video player that would fit inside that space. You get the right settings by using this custom size right here. Okay. Okay, let's go back to our iPod Nano. I want to show you how to make some mistakes because it's very possible that you'll make some mistakes and not figure out what you've done wrong. 